Yeah, you goggle-eyed prick. <laughs> Some people prefer trucks ready to run, but for the price, I think it's not bad. It is, as my brother would say, car. Imperial it critics is. of the plum. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm trying to get it right. It is 470 Imperial Plums of the Cream in English pounds. Just to be boring. Um, and to be honest, it's well worth it. Well worth it. So we'll explain some of the stuff that it can do. It's all switched on, ready to go. On a, comes on a wheel handset. The servo that comes with it. Again, the whole truck comes waterproof. The servo that comes with it is standard. Loads of power. The servo saver I also found out through going through all the rocks and all that. That's the nuts as well because rather than you burning your servo out, having a high powered one, it works really well. It will allow the servo to do its full turn without... Like, if the wheels can't, though, it won't, if you know what I mean. Saves it. So, so as standard... your driving is so shit that you've had to buy this that helps you out so much more. <laughs> <laughs> Jealous, because he's got a truck that's falling apart. See this um, tin can over here? That's like a Reliant Robin compared to, uh, like... Uh, no, no, I disagree. I, I disagree with that comment, because I also own a Viterra Ascender. And the pair of them have done two years, that's it, yeah, two years. Sitting before, on a shelf. Before <laughs> before we've had to replace any parts. Two years. Should we explain these servos then? So, yeah, let's do the servos. We'll right. explain so some servos. Right, I'll be so back. everything's waterproof. I didn't trust it that it was 100% waterproof, so I also added the... Um, plaster dip. Plaster dip. So just, to, just to save it. No, it's all still on there, everything still works. Look, look. Thank you. Right, so, 
first servo, <laughs> let's just get to the point shall we? So the first servo on this side of the truck is for your gearbox. So you've got low range, which means the handset is with the switch up. And if I change it while you're looking at the car, if you've got enough light there, that then changes it to high range, so you get more of a... That's the car, Dave. Uh, That's uh, <laughs> I don't know, I, would, I like to say racy truck, but I wouldn't but race it. It just gives no. it, it, make, it, it keeps it to scale though, it's not too fast. Okay. Right. With, right. with it standard, people yeah. probably put brushes and stuff in, I wouldn't right. suggest it. No. Right, so then, the other two servos, let's make this easier. Let's turn it around. Flip a dipper. Again, there's a radio oh, box. Waterproof, yeah. hey. you can see it's covered in mud, but yeah. I, I used it last night. I, I've been using it pretty much every day since yeah. I've had it, so can't keep up with it all the time. So then we've got these two servos here. That one to the back biff, yeah. this one to the front. So on handset, with the switch back, this, this top one, with it fully back towards you as you hold the control, that means both diffs are unlocked. Okay. So general driving, general trail use, yep. absolutely fine. As soon as you start getting a little bit stuck, you flick the switch once, which adjusts this front survey. Is that to the Let's middle? Let's just do that Step again. Two. So that is your front diff lock. Okay. So pushing it to the middle setting so of the handset. The flicker dicker to the middle. Yeah. That right. locks the front, keeps the rear okay. free. Right. Yeah, yeah, so it helps yeah. you pull up things without the back sort of twisting the truck and throwing it over. Yeah. Which does work well. Yeah. Then the Cars final nebulator. Yeah. Final final switch. Flick a go one more that way. That completely locks the whole car. So now you've got all four wheel drive. Right. Whole lot. Oh, hang on. There we go. There we go. <laughs> Cars, right. Cars vapes just screwed the camera up. Look, it's confused now. Oh, I'll stop creating clouds. <laughs> Ruining it. There we go. Right. Ruining it. So um, I've been using it generally mainly with just the front diff locks. Okay. Because I find. Right. With all our other tracks we've had in the past, both diff locks, they end up to where you get to, you get up something too steep at an angle, and it just wants to turn it over or lift the front wheel. Being able to unlock, gives it allows it to pull the front end back down, and you continue to be able to power up a hill. And I've, as Cole knows, and as you'll see in the videos, it has been put through its paces, and it works well. That's the diffs anyway. Um, as I say, it doesn't come with a battery, which is... But most tractors, most tractors, trucks. Issue, well, no, most tractors, cars we've bought before, like the Slash, you know, Summit, yeah, yeah. all ready to run. Comes with batteries, come with NIMS. They're not, they don't sell them with lipos. But any model shop you pick them up from, again, Model Sport, they do a deal. When you buy them, if you can go that little bit more, sort of five hundred odd, you will get. They'll be offering you charger, battery, everything. You should expect all you need. Yeah, yeah. If it's the first car that you're ever buying, and you've got nothing, no knowledge. It's all you can get the whole lot from them, and um, they're obviously proving to be very popular as well. One feature I like, not that I've done it yet, because I am apparently getting it as a birthday present. Oh, I might be because we know they're not oh. cheap. So, Traxxas have designed their front bumper. Now, you've got this is obviously already on there, which you sort of think, Why is that like that? Don't look right. This that comes with it is a sticker. It's a, it's a, oh, it's a look -alike. So it's a look alike. But if you take wrench. that front bumper off, you've got screws underneath this bit, I believe, that allow you to take that off. You yeah. leave the outside cover, and you can fit a fully so working. It's, uh, it's winch ready. It is winch ready. Oh, Make sure that that <laughs> anyway, another thing I'd like to talk about in this rig. <laughs> You're not ready. Right. So the only other thing I have uh, the with this truck, you don't get much instruction wise come in the box with it uh, it's more a case of go online find it all out there's apps you can download for the speed control or is it that simple blah, 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 it can blah, blah. be used for a month no it's not no there's quite a lot you can do <laughs> so right i play i pretend you didn't say that right so i'm just going to slightly tip it on its side the wheelbase at the minute i believe is the longest setting 300 and no, it's more than that. Yeah. It can go down to 300. Okay. This wheelbase, back and front, is adjustable. So you undo these, you can move yeah. them forward. You get the shock angle if you want, which is performance, benefits performance apparently, but you can also adjust the linkages as well. So you can shorten the whole car back and front to change body shell. Okay. Carrying on generally talking about the truck, portal, portal axles, right, brilliant. Yeah. Um, 
I originally very thought smart. the only thing you benefited from with them was ground clearance, but it's not because it stops as they advertise all the talk twist and lo and behold, it does. Yeah. It stops all of it. Oh, fucking hell. Um, Whee! It's just ruining everything, isn't it? Knocking, it's knocking everything it's down, look. It's a matter of what you're just telling me it's a mess yeah. anyway. Just, you know, what's the point? It so, wouldn't yeah. be RCSE without all this clobber going on. Yeah, yeah. I know. Right, so, Shell. Shell, it's a, a very nice shell. Do you, know what, do you know what I really like? The fact they've put will arches in it. But the internal wheel that's arches, because that's something I really want to put in my Chevy, well, but really can't be bothered to make. Um, let's, so co let's compare, right? They're not on the same size, yeah? Yeah. Within the same size, within the uh, wheel thing, yeah. right? right? You push the side of that in round the wheel arches. Well, it's got that brace across Hang the back. On. It's got the yeah. brace, so there's not. Yeah, it's all nice and braced, and and then the side of it, the only flimsy bit, is held in the side. Well, it's held in there. the it's side rails, isn't it? Right, so and that's then, how they've got away with using a Lexan yeah. shell rather than. I painted this up. But so yeah. you're you're rock crawling, and your body shell's doing that. Yeah. This that is a good idea. Mm. Personally, it's a brilliant idea, isn't it? It stops. But we know, as Dave's got though, he's got the uh, ABS version of that one, and it's sound. Yeah, it's heavier. But, but if you can't afford, an ABS yeah, if you run, can't, if you can't afford hundred and thirty odd quid for an ABS, and you can afford like forty scaled, quid for a Lexan, yeah, then that's the way to go. But with that, it gives people yes. such an insight. Now they've really they do. tracks have, have really thought about it, haven't they? Like even down, even down to the roll cage. Like it's a plastic roll plastic cage. Roll, yeah, but which gets rid of all the weight on top. Yeah, which you've is something I've always we've always with. battled with. Yeah. you know, you've got. It's taken us how long to get all of our rigs going before without tipping and. Well, I've had to make our own suspension to get that to not tip over. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And you've just pulled that up and gone. Ha ha! See that, boys? Well, hey. Yeah. <laughs> I'm quite gutted that I didn't clean it properly. I should have gone for it a bit more. Stuff. I just cool, literally yeah. gave it a quick. <laughs> I literally gave oh. it a quick. A quick spray, and I didn't do it. So it's looking quite bad. So we've got mountain wise. <laughs> you absolute know what? They're an absolute <laughs> pair of pricks. Yeah. Come That's what he does every night. <laughs> I'll be back. <laughs> anyway, main thing I do want to obviously point out. The back wheel, you'd think oh, it's a lot of weight to have on the back of the truck, blah, blah, blah. If you're going to take it through water, make sure when you come out the other side, you give it a squash and get the water out because it does affect you getting up your neck still. Can yeah. you just show us that squeezing technique again for our first... Uh, what's, what's your... What's your... Oh, see that? Oh. And that's what ruins performance. Oh. <laughs> Mount in the shell, anyway. Right, yeah, let's, let's go two pins the at the back. That stops this whole back okay. panel flapping around. So we've got the two pins at the back. They sit, they sit into the bumper. Okay. We've got the sides sit on the inside of the right. rail there, and then the rest of it is as normal. This is where it's all going to go wrong. Probably wrong. Clip a dipper. You know what? The wonder why it weighs a ton. There we go. It's gone straight on in its place, and as you can see, the sides are now held. For so it's, it's on. It's solid, isn't it? It's just it's not. Body. But it is a licensed shell from. Land Rover as it advertises on the site, and I think it's a pretty good, uh, damn good mould of it, to be honest with you. It's a bloke for Lexan, that is a yeah. really smart mould. I've seen some Lexan D90s flatbeds yeah. before, and they're not quite. I think they could have done, my personal opinion on that, what lets that down is the windows. They could have done a bit more. Is that a sticker, is it? Yeah, I yeah, would have preferred. Stickers. Yeah, but it's personal preference. I would have preferred clear. Yeah. Clear windows, but then saying that, what's to stop you just buying another shell? <laughs> Handset. Talk about the handset. Right, um, handset comes. I've been tinkering with my one all day today, so if you want me to go into it, but then no. you've been tinkering with that as well, haven't you? Because we've have. both got the same handset. You've got the newer one, haven't you? I'm not going to touch the handset because I'm happy with how it is. Yeah, I know. It don't make sense coming from me, does it? No, no, I'm this, not this, is, this is wrong, people, right? This is the <laughs> first <laughs> truck, exclusive. right? This is exclusive. First here, RCSC in Carl's garage at about 10 o'clock at night. I'm going to sit down. Right? Brad, right? I'm just going to put the control down. <laughs> doesn't want to modify or touch anything on a truck. That is our confidence. The, the, this That's is, because this, out the box. This is coming from a guy that, that touches and fucks up everything he's ever owned. <laughs> I'm glad you said it specifically like that. <laughs> <laughs> right, <dodgy> geezer, <laughs> no, 
we, 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 we jest, but no, you get, I'm shocked. I'm genuinely shocked. I right, can't that think you don't of wanna, anything to do to it. So don't wanna, there's nothing I could. The only right. So the only well, adjustment I've yeah. made, and the only reason I'd done it, was because I was advised to. Okay. Your pinion gear in your spur gear mesh. Yeah. For obviously from the motor. Yeah. Uh, the pinion sits very, very close to the casing. When I took it out, I was advised to by someone that's already got one. Pinion sits quite far forward, almost touching the casing, so it doesn't fully line up with the spur gear. So obviously what we do, take them three screws out, bring yeah. the pinion back a bit, line it up properly with the spur gear. <coughs> Done. That is, apart from putting the waterproof in stuff on to extra protect it, mm -hmm. I haven't done anything else to it, not felt the need. Right, as you can see, these have taken punishment on rocks, and there is a little bit of rust there where I haven't done it this time. He's getting proper angle now. But, it? it's going on. coating, now this is, again, this was advised by someone, coating oh, yeah. everything that can be submerged in water, or that will get submerged in water, in white marine grease, the, the anti-corrosive one, that allows you to simply get a cloth and go, and it all comes off, takes rust with it, so it keeps it at the surface. So it comes up just with the scratches nice. for wear and tear. Summing it up in a few words, it's the nuts. The nuts. Give, it, give us a, it's, it was no complaints. It's the nuts. The nuts. Is there the any nuts. down points on it? Anything you can Colour. pick at? Colour, just the colour. I ended up with that colour because it was sitting in the shop and I was like, save it! I'm coming down! <laughs> it's the only one I'm coming! How many red lights did you shoot? How many cameras did you set off? How many pigeons yeah. did you hit? How many ice cream vans did you knock over? Any caravans along the way? Did you break any laws? Yes, he did. <laughs> to get the truck. <laughs> no, the maximum speed I reached was 30 mile an hour. It took me approximately 35, 40 minutes to get to the shop. That's a whole load and of lies. <laughs> what shop was it? Never you mind. No, that was, uh, you know that was from Active was. Scale. He kindly saved it for me. Didn't, he didn't have to hold it for long because obviously I was. He's yeah. a good man, Mr. Active. Um, Buy his Velcro. Obviously, also. <laughs> <laughs> I knew you beat me to it. <laughs> Every video we do is Velcro. <laughs> yes, Buy his so. Velcro. We had a discussion in the woods the other night when Dave's <laughs> truck broke and the magnets, oh shit. <laughs> I'm going to get active Velcro. <laughs> His eyes lit up. He was so excited that active Velcro was coming back. Yep. And the next day I went out and bought some active Velcro. <laughs> that no, fucker ain't coming off now. <laughs> he can't get it off. But the chassis. <laughs> Trying to get the Velcro off. He extended his chassis and put the Velcro off. Oh, He's dear. gone from a D9 to a D110 yeah. in a stretch of... <laughs> in a, in a stretch of Velcro. Yeah. So, oh, we're going to put plenty of... Give us your feedback though, we need it. You know, we've we've had a We had a couple, couple of comments, comments on our other channel. So for you guys that were following and commented, please come over and join the new channel because this twat is curly haired forgot, fucker. forgot all his logging <laughs> details. Like, you're curly -haired <laughs> you're curly -haired fucker. Um yeah, so please come over to the dark side. We've got a new segment coming and it's called uh, Twits on a Trip. Yeah. And uh we we'll, Hopefully, as long as we can get out enough, um, we'll, no one we'll try. Uh, <laughs> um, we're going to try to do that monthly. Maybe try get try get one twits on a trip out a month. We'll go twits visit some trip. different it's places. This guy that uploads it though, he's the one that takes his sweet it's, ass time. Uh, Now. So um, we're going for a second wrap up. So we're going for a second wrap up. We're now down to we're now on to our third camera because. Dave doesn't think to charge shit before he comes around. Oh, it was, it was, it that's was charged. The third they time were I've charged. Scored. They were. You've done really well. And the only two times you. before is because of these two. Because yeah. of you. Because of you. He's, he's done. He's done really anyway, well. Anyway, we're gonna wrap up for the second time. So yeah. he's been a Dave. I have been a Dave. He's been a Brad. And and he's been. That's one said. Been a Carl. Yeah, he's been Carl. <laughs> <laughs> we are RCSC, and we'll see you later. Good night. Good night. <laughs>
found that. Here we go. I was oh. trying to look for. <laughs>